Welcome to this week's video on the Microbit. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to use Python instead of the Microsoft Block Editor. Now, just before you watch this video, if you have no idea how to program, this video might not be the best starting point for you. I am going to keep it extremely simple. All I'm going to create today is placing a character onto your display, you pressing the buttons on the Microbit and it moving your character left and right. That's all it's going to do. Just going to show you how you would start creating characters using a proper programming language. I will make some more videos explaining basic programming concepts um, in the near future. But for now, videos are just going to be simple as introductory kind of level just to get you started. So let's not waste any more time. Here we go. So we're going to go to the same micro bit start page, create code, and we're going to this time, instead of choosing this, we are going to choose Python new project. Now then, when it starts up, you should, I think everybody will get the same screen. I don't think mine's any different. So um, what you want to do here is get rid of all this and pull this up and get rid of that just for now. Now that. I'm going to try my best to just explain what things are while I do it, but like I said, if you've never programmed before, it might not make an hell of a lot of sense. So, from Microbit, so we're calling a library which is in built into this website, if you like. Um, we're going to import everything from this library or this include or import, whatever they call it in Python, I forgot. So, while true, so this is a while loop which will say, never come out of this loop. Keep repeating the following bits of code. And the first thing I want to program here is, I'm looking at my micro bit right now, I've just plugged it in and uh, there's a there's like an X on it. I must have coded an X at the start of the a game or something. So I want to clear that screen. So it's display. This is part of this micro bit include dot clear. And if I put that in now, if I download it goes to my downloads folder. If I go show in folder, what's it called? Wondrous Script 2. Wondrous Script 2. If I drag that now into my micro bit, it should upload. And I'm looking at my micro bit. There was a flashing yellow light on the back. I know there's nothing on the screen whatsoever. Literally wipe the screen. Right, so this is to be said, I am going to invest in a a really high quality, high definition camera and show you my micro bit while I'm doing things. Um, there's no emulator in this version of it, which is a shame really, because we can't see anything working there. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Right, the first thing I want to do though now is set a pixel like we did in the very first videos we ever did. How do we put a character on the screen? And we can do it this way. Display, so on the display, dot set a pixel or set underscore pixel that is the method of display, uh, or sorry, a uh, method of display, and you put in its X, its Y, and whether the light's turned on or off, and we want it turned on, so true or false into this parameter. Right, so it's our character, so I'm going to set its X position, because I know, I just said before, we're going to move this thing left and right, this character has to change the variable on the X. So I'm just going to go player pause. Um, no, player X pause. Let's put a capital X. Player X pause equals 2. We're going to just set player X pause, this variable, to equal the number 2. And I'm going to put that here. Player X pause. So that's going to set it to 2 in that variable. And the Y, I'll put it to the bottom of the display on Python, which is the, is it the fourth one? Let me have a quick look. I can't see. Yeah, it starts at zero, zero, top left hand corner, and it's four to the bottom, isn't it? So, I have now set a pixel um, in the second column, which is the one in the middle, and then moved it down four, lights turned on, right. Now then, I want to move it left and right. I'm going to use the buttons for that. So, if, if statement, I press the A button. So, we need to go um, button underscore a that is something again coming from this micro bit um, dot was underscore pressed this is the method of the button 
if you don't know what I'm talking about with methods and things, you need to just, I'll make a video on it in a couple of weeks because this is heavy stuff if you've never done it before. So button A, this is a method of button A, was pressed, you put a call on A, and A is on the left hand side of the micro bit. So I'm going to go player x pause minus equals 1. So it's set to 2. If I press the button, it's going to take 1 off it. It'll go to 1. If I press it again, it's going to take 1 off it. It'll go to 0. Similarly then, if I have this if statement, I can copy it all. Copy. Paste. Change this to B. X position still, but this time I'm going to go plus on the X axis. And I think that should do it. I've, I've, like I said, I keep doing all these things off the top of my head, trying to keep it fun for myself so I can work out on the fly what's going on. Hopefully you'll make the same mistakes I do and then you can, you know, have a methodical way of working through it. Right, um, we go to download. And again, it puts it into my downloads folder. Showing folder, oh, what's this called? Wondrous script 2 and it'll be that one because it's got a 1 after it. Drag that into my micro bit. very slow transfer rate on these well it's not that slow but it is pretty slow so there you go and I'm looking at my micro bit and there's nothing on it I press my button yeah nothing on it nothing on it right I think I understand why okay in programming we said this is a while loop it'll keep doing it forever let's just show what it's doing it's clearing the screen it's putting the pixel on the screen it's waiting for a button press if we press and do this but then it's clearing the screen again drawing the pixel clearing the screen drawing the pixel drawing. so what's happening I think is it's clearing the screen faster than it's actually drawing it so we just need to make the program just wait for a millisecond just to draw the picture without it wiping it again and in Python there's a function called sleep um, I think it when we opened the program for the very first time it had this in there I think it knows there's a problem with this because um, I can't I can't understand why it just wouldn't invoke that but anyway so I think if you put a thousand it's one second so we only want a really small amount of time between drawing it so we're gonna draw it wait a second and it's gonna clear it in like a nanosecond and then it's going to draw it again, keep it on there for a... Can you see, it's going to keep it on the screen longer than it's off the screen. So let's download this. Showing folder, yeah, it's just going up nicely in ones and twos. Let's get this onto micro bit. I'll look at my video uh, screen here. Uh, my micro bit even. And I can see a dot on the second column in, so the very middle column. If I press my B button, yeah, it moves right. If I press it, it goes left. Yep. Yeah. And if I run to the edge of the screen, it gives me an error. Now, I'm not sure why it would do that unless Python and the micro bit, it doesn't like it when you go over four or under zero. I'll probably cover that in another video, but for right now, let's keep this as simple as we can so that we've all got a good starting point to draw something to the screen, to clear the screen, to show how to like manipulate the fact that this is being run. Um, well, my computer is a quad core 2.8 gigahertz, I think. So it's running the uh, instructions thousands of times a second, it's upwards of 28,000 times a second, I believe it is. So um, there you go, it's just delaying it for a split second while I can still see it, and I can still see it on my micro bit right now because I've pressed the reset button at the back and it's just put on the last bit of code what was installed to it so there you go that's how to make a character and display it to the screen in the least amount of code I could possibly think of and um, like I keep saying if you've got a better way of doing this please throw it into the comments send me some personal messages if you don't want to see your comments but we'll keep it at that just under 10 minutes I'll see you next time